Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for inviting me, Jeannie, and please convey my thanks to Her Excellency as well. Um, I'm the last speaker this afternoon, am I not? Well, good, because the message that I have to give you is going to go deeper even than we have gone today, because it is the message of oneness, an interfaith concept of oneness. Interfaith is about oneness. It is all very well to spend time discussing all of our differences and trying to find commonalities, ways to respect each other, and yet still cling to our own understanding and our own fears. This world is becoming way too small for all of us to stay contained in our own small reasonings and our own small boxes of what we have been raised to believe is true. Oneness is the understanding that all of our approaches to the divine have the same root, that of love. Brotherhood, sisterhood, and the consciousness that we are all here for the same purpose, to love one another and the earth we live on. Having an interfaith understanding is the beginning of that idea, and it is important to learn about other ways of looking at the world and religion and what people believe and think, but, it is not the be-all and end-all of interfaith or our consciousness. It's wonderful that King Abdullah of Jordan, who is responsible for creating the World Interfaith Harmony Week here at the United Nations, has written that the true quest is to deeply connect on the level of oneness. He said that our true failing is not understanding our connections in a deep and meaningful way. Well, what is a deep and meaningful way? It's my hope that everybody gathered here today who is approaching interfaith understanding and acceptance from a single faith point of view will delve yet deeper to find that single core value that we all yearn for, the connection to oneness. Well, what is oneness on a deeper level? I believe that it is the place we go within ourselves that allow us to connect to another person's spirit, regardless of their dress, their beliefs, their gender, their race, or their religion. The place that says, yes, my sister, I see you. And yes, my brother, I see you. I see the you that transcends the beliefs of your ancestors and your peoples that takes and puts our connection on a higher level <coughs> and brings us closer to the God of all understanding. From that place, we can then begin to explore the concepts that make up each other's faiths from a place of connection, a place of oneness. And then, and only then, can we see past the surface issues that seem to cause such friction in the world? These become less important and less distracting, and we can open the doorway to true dialogue and peace. And because this is a woman's conference, what is it that women can begin this process with? What can we, as women, do to connect to that oneness in any discussion about religion? Interfaith dialogue and understanding begin with one thing, listening. And what do we as women do the best? We know how to listen. We do it so well. Listening, really listening, begins in the heart and holds within itself the seeds of compassion, respect, and understanding. Since time immemorial, women have been the natural peacemakers. We have always recognized that place of oneness where we are all one family. Throughout history, with very few exceptions, women have not started wars. As givers of life to children, as we have been so eloquently talking about today, women understand that oneness exists within each child regardless of which faith they were raised in and whether they had a mother or father that loved them or they were orphans. So, as my teacher, Rabbi Gelberman, would always say, blessed are the brief, for they will be asked to speak again. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with this thought. 
Women understand oneness and that we are all one family. So how can we open up the dialogue for interfaith understanding on a really deep level? We can truly see each other. I see you, and I see you, and I see you, and I see you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And as we see each other, we hold each other's, each person in that deep place of interfaith openness and acceptance in our own hearts. And so I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you.